difference you see from Phil when you coached him at BC and Phil now? Well, first off, when you go back to 2020, he was just learning the offense. Mm -hmm. He was getting another opportunity to be the starting quarterback. So think about going through 2020, 2021, and he even played last season, and now all the reps he got this spring and fall camp, you could just see the experience in the system. You know, the accumulation of reps. Um, I am so impressed with him. You know, first off, we know he's a great leader. We know he's tough. He brings out Pittsburgh grit. His teammates got great respect for him. But he's done such a great job just making the right decisions. You know, he understands the play designs. He understands all three phases, whether it's the run game, the protection, or the passing game in terms of running the offense, the checks that might happen at the line of scrimmage. And, and I've really been impressed, impressed with his accuracy. I mean, he's playing great football, and I'm really proud of him. How soon after you knew you were going to have to, your starting quarterback was going to leave after asking, did you go to Pat and say, let's, let's look at uh, Phil? Well, we were actually bringing in Phil before Keaton left. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted Keaton to compete with Phil, and obviously he didn't want to. Um, you know, I love the quarterback room. You know, Christian, Christian is doing a great job. I love where he is. He is very talented. He is getting better every day. He has three years of eligibility, which is so exciting for the program. And Nate Yar now is in the same situation. You know, Nate won a football game for us last year. He's had a really good off season in camp. Um, and he's, he's improving every day, you know. Uh, the quarterback room, so pleased with. And you can see we have a young freshman in Ty that, that his upside is, uh, really nice to have and he's only going to get better. Frank, you've had a couple of weeks to see this crop of freshman receivers in camp. Uh, have any of them kind of set themselves apart from the pack? I could talk to, talk about all of them. First off, uh, you know, the recruiting staff and the coaches did a great job recruiting and evaluating these young men. Um, I think you can see that Kenny Johnson is a special, special wide receiver and person. You know, you look at the scrimmage the other day, he's very explosive. He's fast. He, he's a big time playmaker. Zion Fowler has unbelievable ball skills. He's probably the closest thing I've been around since I was with uh, Mohamed Sanu at Rutgers for college football. He's competitive, he's smart. Um, when you take a look at the other young guys, unfortunately they've had some injuries, but Lamar and uh, Izzy Polk have been outstanding for us. You know, they had a great off season, great summer. So when you look at those four guys, man, I think we did a great job evaluating them. I think Coach Underwood's doing a great job developing them, and they're getting better every day out here. What's Bub like as a leader? I think you just saw it in your interview. I was so proud watching him. Uh, he's positive. He brings great energy out there on the field. We saw it right away in the spring. He was coaching the, the perimeter. So what's that mean? Not only does he have leadership, but he has knowledge. He understands the system, not only what to do, but how to do it you know, the fundamentals and techniques. Uh, Bob's a leader. Love Bob, man. Looking forward to seeing his great season. I'm sure he, last year, could see the physical skills that he has. Yes. Bob, how much has he put together the, the consistency, the details, all those things he needs to be, not, not just a guy who can make a play every now and then, but be consistent for you guys? You know, Bob, Bob it all started in the spring. He had a great spring. Uh, really, the bowl game. He had a great bowl game, great bowl prep, great spring, summer. Very pleased with where he is. You know, Bub's different. He's big, he's strong, he's explosive. Um, it really shows you how important it is to have time for development. You know, remember, Bub came in last year, what, in the summertime? He's been here a full year now, and look how he has grown, not only as a player, but as a person in Coach Narduzzi's program here, because there's great culture. And Coach Underwood's done a great job developing him. Um, the skill development part of college football is so important, and I think Bob's a great example of that. Frank, how would you assess Gavin Bartholomew this camp? Wow, so impressed. Now look, I'm really impressed with all our groups, but I think the tight end group and Coach Salem, that probably made the most improvement from where we were to where we are now. Um, Gavin, I am very impressed with. Uh, he's in great shape. He had a great off-season program with Stack and the guys in the Ironworks. Um, he's lean, he's fast. His blocking has improved, his route running's improved, and I think you saw the last play of today's practice, he made a great touchdown catch on the back line, man. I mean, 
I, I'm very impressed and looking forward to using Gavin this season. What's the challenge of switching an offensive identity? We're hearing a lot about the explosiveness of the <laughs> passing game. You guys were a ground and pound, Izzy leading the ACC in rushing yeah. yards per game. What's the challenge as a coordinator flipping that identity in a single season? Well, you know, I've been blessed. I've been around great, great coaches. You know, the guys I've been around, great coordinators, great mentors. And every great coach I've been around, they're going to play to their strengths of their players. When you look at us last year, the strength of our offense was the running game. Um, we had a new quarterback, we were developing the perimeter, but we had an offensive line in a backfield that we felt was elite, you know. This year's a little different because those wide receivers are back. We've developed young wide receivers. The tight end, the tight end uh, group has gotten better. Um, the running backs know the system. And we have quarterbacks that not only can play in the pocket, but now they can extend plays. Plus, I mean, you see our guys, they're 6'5", they're 6'6", and they can sit in that pocket and deal the ball. So when you look at the makeup of our offense, um, you know, the scheme hasn't necessarily changed a whole lot, but probably how you call the game's going to.